Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 19 of Direwolf20's Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles Let's Play series. Uh, between episodes, I did a little bit of work, uh, but before I talk about that, I want to talk about uh, what I want to work on today. So I'm currently at a point where I have a couple uh, paths that we can go down, right? Uh, we've been focusing heavily on the main quest line for a little bit, and obviously working on our alloys and ores so we can mine a little bit better and get more resources available to us. Now the path is as follows. We can either continue down the main quest line, or we could work on some of these side quest lines that we haven't played with too much, right? We worked on a little bit of white magic, which is cool, and I'd like to continue doing astral. But I'd also like to probably break into some black magic type stuff with uh, blood magic and evil craft and see what kind of neat things we can do with that. Uh, also wouldn't mind getting better food at some point soon, right? And finally, I would also really like to look at mystical agriculture. Because uh, at first, I assumed like in this pack, mystical agriculture would be a little bit tricky. It doesn't look too bad, though. Like, the, the seed recipes? Up until tier 3. Like, tier 1 and 2, cool. Tier 3, dilithium. Have we gotten dilithium yet? It's an alloy cone. Do dilithium crystals come from dilithium ore. Do we get dilithium yet? I don't know where that comes from. Uh, so tier 3 seeds might be a little bit tricky, but tier 1 and 2 should be cool. Uh, so where does dilithium ore come from? It's found in the overworld, kind of all over, but I don't think I've run into it yet. Uh, I bet the book will tell us if we took a quick peek in the Tinker's book, right? There it is. Materials and you, right? Because if we flip through here, doo -doo 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 we should get to the chapter where we can find out what dilithium looks like. Let's just go up here to Tega. Tinker's alloying add-on. So dilithium, uh, when you find a lot of sand, dilithium probably is not far away. You can use dilithium as a stabilizer for Tiberium. That's pretty cool. Uh, it holds so much energy that you can use it as a hot fuel source. Nice. Caution, explosions cause more explosions. Location, deserts, beaches, and oceans. So basically we would want to find a desert biome and we would want to find our dilithium. I don't know that I've found a desert biome. Um, it's in oceans though, which that, that's a stony reef biome apparently, according to JEI here, and there's your river biome. So I'm guessing it spawns along around with sand and whatnot, uh, but we could probably take a little bit of an exploration visit to find that stuff. So if we wanted to get into tier three seeds, that would be a thing, right? Um, from Mystical. Uh, but aside from that, right, once we found that ore type, dilithium, we'd be fine for tier three seeds, right? Um, so I was kind of like just poking around at these recipes. Most things seem pretty unmodified. Um, tier four and five are probably a little bit trickier to get into, right? But that's okay. We'll get to those eventually. So I'm thinking I might want to start mystical agriculture so we can at least start growing a few extra resources. Like, uh, is copper tier three or tier two? That's a tier two seed, for example, right? And we're always low on copper. Have you heard how many times I've said I'm low on copper? Yeah, it's a little bit shenanigans how frequently I'm low on copper, right? And we could, you know, pretty easily make copper ingots out of that uh, stuff. Now, I don't know if we have access to, like, a farm right now, right? Like, uh, there's the farmer from Actually Additions. That doesn't look too terrible. Um, there's also Industrial Foregoing. How hard is it to get into Foregoing in this pack? Um, that's a really good question, because we have that thing that we can make uh, stuff out of, right? We would want the plant, I forget which one it is from Industrial Foregoing. Uh, plant Gatherer might work on these seeds. We'd have to test, right? This looks 100% I could make this right now. I don't see like what in this recipe I can't do right now. Uh, especially plastic is pretty standard, right? Dry rubber, latex processing unit, right? And that, you know, we could do that. Uh, granted, the latex processing unit needs a little bit of steel to get into, and it also needs an enriched alloy. So I'm thinking that's probably going to be very much soon after uh, our quest line. But before we get to that, let's talk about what I did between episodes. Dun, dun, dun. So in the main quest line, I basically, as promised, followed this whole line and did it all between episodes, right? So real quick, just to cover what we did. I made a reinforced backpack, which made my backpack bigger. It wasn't hard. Um, it was a pretty quick and easy recipe. Then we made some iron spikes and a hardened watering can. Yay, hardened watering can. Easy peasy, just a little bit of invar, right? It wanted me to make drawers and a filter module from RF tools. Very easy to make, as you can see, right? Um, the filter module then led into upgrade templates, which, as you can see, use filter modules, and that's from storage drawers. So a pretty standard approach there. Then the storage module tier one, not terrible recipe either, uh, from, from the RF tools uh, mod. And then uh, that gave me a drawer upgrade. 
Cool. Nothing too crazy. Uh, crafted myself a silver chest. Easy peasy. Uh, got myself an exchanger core. Uh, and an exchanger from the exchangers mod. But I'll probably be using building gadgets because I added that to the pack. As you can see, it was on my to-do list up here. Some of my to-do list is still hanging around up top. And then that finally gave me access to the Metallurgic Infuser quest, which will end Tier 1 and break us into Tier 2. But like I said, I don't want to jump into Tier 2 just yet. I'd like to poke around a little bit in some of the quest lines we haven't started, like Dark Magic, like uh, Mystical Agriculture, right? So let's... Let's let's do... Oh, and also one of the rewards I got was Electrotene Seeds, which is cool. Tier 3 Electrotene Seeds? Yeah, dude, I'll take that. I, I, I saved them in my inventory and haven't planted them yet because I wanted to remind myself that I got those as a quest reward and to show you guys that I got that as a quest reward. I forget which quest gave it to me. I'm sure if we looked through... Uh, here it was, the Wooden Exchanger. Boom, Electrotene Seeds. Good times. So that was neat, right? Uh, it sounds like a slime out there. Booyah. Hey, what's up, giant treasure slime? Give me treasure! I don't feel like I got that much treasure. I was expecting more treasure. What is this giant creature? Hello, sir, how are you? Trollager from Primitive Mobs. He's uh, turned to stone. That's kind of cool. Don't trolls usually turn to stone in sunlight? That's kind of cool. I wonder if that's like, I wonder if that's what's happening right there. A troll that's turned to stone because it's daytime. I mean, that is kind of neat if that's what's going on, right? You know what else is kind of neat? A bigger backpack. I'm very much appreciating that. Um, but yeah, let's go plant our seed. And I'm thinking if we're going to get into mystical agriculture, we are 110% going to need more, uh, more, more farming space. So like a, a better and proper farm might be in our future. So that might be cool. I'm going to remove my death point there. So the only the only reason I'm hesitant to get into Mystical Agriculture is I'm actually pretty good on resources right now. Like, I'm not hurting too bad. Um, so we'll see. Give me a minute to, like, plan out what I want to do. Either that or Dark Magic, I think, are the two that I want to do. All right, guys. I am quickly knocking through a couple quests here. Uh, so I got my Inferium, obviously. I've got my Prosperity Shards, obviously. Uh, that gave me some extra essences, so that's cool. I need Inferium dudes now. Sure, why not? Just give me a bunch. Shouldn't be too bad. Claim those rewards. Hooray! Compressed cobblestone. We need five of those compressed cobblestones. That's where things get tricky. I don't know how much cobblestone I have. Uh, and a site. Do we have any compressed? It's kind of hard to tell. We have one compressed cobblestone. Sweet. Uh, we've got a very small amount of cobblestone to go along with more compressed cobblestone. Uh, but we... See, I'm voiding so much of it. <laughs> I'm always voiding it that I never have it. That's the problem. You know what we can do? I got a plan. Open up your backpack. Let's go somewhere. Um, in fact, before we go somewhere, let's do this and this. I always like to just clean these things out. Uh, a little bit of that, a little bit of that and that. And you can go in there, Mr. Bo. I probably should just void him, to be honest with you. But it's all good. I'm not going to super clean up my inventory, because we're just going to take a quick visit uh, to the Twilight Forest. Because the Twilight Forest has a bunch of cobblestone. And then I have to do that whole, that whole mess. You know what I'm talking about? With the whole, you know, turn your marble into normal cobblestone with the chisel that breaks very frequently and doesn't have a lot of durability. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So as I recall, there should be a cave not far from our current situation. Yeah, that's what's up. And we can just pop down here and find some cobblestone. Cool. Isn't it great watching my hammer not take durability damage? How great is that? And I'm not here for resources, right? Like, I'm just gonna, like, throw them on the ground. How great. How great is that? I'm just here to, to get stuff. Okay, good enough for me, right? Slash home it is. Easier than walking upstairs and doing the thing. So that gets me a bunch of cobblestone, just so I can compress it and get this quest knocked out. Because I decided, as you can tell, to go Mystical Agriculture on this, on this game, right? That's what we're doing, so... 
compressed cobblestone. Should be cool. Nice. All right, cool. And then you can go away. And hey, we happen to get a little blackboard sore, so I guess I'll, you know, do that thing. Sweet. Yeah, we don't have a lot by way of like a free simple building material. Uh, by the way, I ran out of food, so I had to cook up more rice bread, which so far has been a really not great food source, but it's doing well enough, which is why I'm not focusing on cooking just yet. We will get to the cooking quests, um, but, you know, I just feel like, you know, I don't know which of these I want. Uh, I guess a common loot bag? It's probably like, I got nothing, nothing of value. Nothing of value. All right, so... Uh, Inferium Furnace is required. I don't see an Inferium Furnace quest. Am I missing something? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, no, no. We're cool. Uh, that doesn't look terrible. Needs a couple blocks of Inferium. I'm going to make this off camera real quick. Four iron plates. Yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. That shouldn't be too bad at all. I should be able to do that, right? Yeah, I might, I might not make this off camera. We'll see. Can you convert back, by the way? You can. Just checking. Just checking. Do we have any iron plates handy? Nope, but we got iron over here. Cool. What else am I missing to make this happen? Um, the compressed cobble, the furnace, and the chest. And that's it. Oh, actually, I do have iron plates on me. Yay! So a furnace and a chest. And what did I do with the compressed cobble? Because I know I had some like a second ago. Didn't I literally just make compressed cobble? Yeah, there it is. Cool. And I happen to have iron plates on me, so we're good, right? I guess I got that as a reward and didn't notice. Nice. So that got me another Inferium Furnace, by the way, and a block of Inferium Essence, and an Inferium Apple, which, as you know, I get excited when I get food. It gives Absorption too. you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save that <clears throat> for a boss fight at some point in the future. Nice. All right, so that should unlock uh, the end of chapter uh, of this dude, and I think we might even have some Inferium Coal. We totally do. Nice. Even more... Inferium stuff. A block of Inferium coal. Not bad. Not bad at all. So let's see if I got anything lucky from my rare loot bag. As usual, not really. And how about from you, buddy? Well, some food ain't terrible. And I guess I'll be happy except about the mineral stuff, right? But this wooden plate is garbage. As are you. Cool. Okay. So I don't think I need the bonsai plants right now because they're not the hopping variety. The hopping bonsai plant is the one that you can automate. The regular bonsai plant you have to walk over to and right click every now and then. And I give a big thumbs down on that. It's nice, but no thanks. Um, you know, and, and hopping bonsai is a little bit more effort, right? I, it might be attainable right now. Triberium, Joxum, I think I have a lot of these things. To be honest with you, uh, Carmesine. Do we have Carmesine? Feel like we do. We have a little bit of Joxum too, somewhere in here. There it is, Joxum. So we have a little bit of the resources we need. I could probably pull off a hopping bonsai right now. Uh, the main problem is I just don't feel like doing it. I don't know that we need to. Maybe, maybe at some point in the future. We'll see. I could always throw a hopping bonsai down, but you know, uh, not now. We'll check it out. Later. Okay. So now that we've got all this mystical agriculture stuff. Uh, covered, we can break into uh, the mystical agriculture quest line. More Inferium. That shouldn't be a problem. Remember, I've been hoarding this stuff. Ooh, an Inferium katana, a bone katana, or a copper katana. I don't know. 5.3. I guess you're the most attack damage, Mr. Inferium katana. But I don't think you're going to do better than my uber sword that I got going on. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm just going to nope on that. Cool. Uh, and then you want base crafting seeds, right? So seed from mystical agriculture, base crafting seeds. I think that's just, uh, yeah, seeds with prosperity shards of which we should have a decent amount, right? So you guys, I don't know how many we need, but I'm gonna make like a handful. How's a dozen sound? That's a nice random number that I came up with. 
Hooray, fertilized essence. You know what? We even got a block of prosperity for that. So that's more prosperity shards. And I think I'm going to convert you guys into essence as well. There's no reason to hang on to the blocks, and I can always turn them back if I need to. Cool. All right. So that branches out into crafting seed tier one, which, you know, I'm pretty sure I've got. Oh, wait, that's crafting seed tier one. Right. So that would be you upgraded to this. That's a tier one crafting seed. Nice. Uh, and that's where you can get nature and ice and zombie, the solium dagger stuff. Like, that's some pretty good things, right? Uh, mystical feather and sticks are used to craft various arrows. Really? I'm not familiar with that. Uh, oh, Inferium, Prudentium. I didn't know that these were a thing. Wow. They give debuffs, too. Blindness, slowness. That's kind of cool, actually. That's not bad at all. That's nifty. I like that a little bit. That's cool. I didn't know that was really a thing. Uh, Inferium Seeds Tier 1. Those ones I know I've got, right? Uh, Inferium Seeds Tier 1. I'll just break one of the plants I have out here. I think you're a Tier 1, right? We have a Tier 3, to be sure, but... There you go. Nice. Uh, and now you want me to make an Infusion Crystal, which didn't look too bad. And they even gave me the diamond to do it. Isn't that nice? You know, you can say this is a hardcore pack, and yeah, some of the recipes are challenging, but when you complete a quest, and it gives you the ingredients for the next quest, like, that's kind of nice, right? That's kind of nice. Um, so we need to convert this into a mana diamond, which we can do, obviously, because we've been, you know, doing, doing Batania, right? So clearly Batania is required for this. Um, and then there was a couple other things that we needed to do. What else do we need? Base essence ingots? I thought I had those. Did I use them all already? Didn't I have to make those like a minute ago or am I crazy? Don't answer that. No, I made inferior. Oh, I turned them all into, yeah. I used them all for that. That's fine. We'll make a few of that. Uh, I need four of them. Base essence ingots. Cool. And this, guys, will let you get to the Tier 2 seeds. I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time doing Mystical Agriculture, because A, I think you guys have seen it before, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, and B, um, hey look, Mystical Fertilizer, yay. Uh, B, I think that it's a lot of repetitive stuff, right? So we'll, you know, once we get the basics covered, right, so we can get a Prudentium Furnace and Coal, Inferium Seeds Tier 2, right, so that would be this guy... No, you want Inferium Seeds Tier 2. That's what you want? Okay. Um, yeah, I could probably do that. I actually have Inferium Seeds Tier 1 on me. So we could do that. Sure. And that made me another Inferium Seeds Tier 2, which is nice. Right? And then that leads to Intermedium Essence. Um, Prudentium Essence. Crafting Seed Tier 2. You want me to make the Solium Dagger before we do that? Well, that's not too bad, because it needs solium ingots and a, and a stick, right? And remember, we've been finding solium underground. So what we can do is take our solium, right? Smelt it up. Cool. Smelt it again. And that gets me the dust. And then smelt it again. Oh, I see. Solium dust. We need... Okay, so I need eight more of those to make the two soliums that we need for the dagger. And then we'll need a couple other things. Okay, cool. Not terrible. Not terrible. Like I said, it seems to me like the early parts of this mod are not modified too much. Right? And I would say that there's really no benefit right now to jumping into the Inferium Furnace. Like, yeah, that 15% efficiency is cool, but I don't think it's, you know, anything to lose sleep over not using. Right? So I think uh, we'll just leave them alone for now. So are you guys done, all eight of you? Good. Smelt again, please. And while we're at it, let's put away some of these random plates that we're getting from, from loot bags. Cool. So there's four of those. There's two more. 
two more and two more okay cool and then you combine with this to make two of that which can be smelted nope not those two things this cool and then for the solium dagger the only thing we need now is this and then that and that's what you use to get um mob chunks remember if you're gonna grow mob resources so like you know zombie chunks and whatnot nice that's cool and that gets us a uh, you know nifty stuff awesome awesome so that leads to nature and ice and zombie seeds so nature seeds remember can get you some pretty cool things i remember uh you get nature essence which allows you to get grass mycelium vines cactus sugarcane pumpkins melons wheat basically all things crop right which might be really useful to us um in the near future if we need more things so that's absolutely something to 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 consider getting but i think the main reason i wanted to do this was i wanted to get a crafting tier two seed right inferium crafting tier two seeds them's natures that's that cool and the reason I wanted to get a crafting tier 2 seed is I wanted to craft a couple basic things, right? A couple basic things here. Um, specifically, I'd like to get copper and coal. And I don't know if I need anything else, right? Ooh, mystical essence, huh? What do you make? Mystical flower essence? Is that Batania things? It is. That's Batania stuff. All right, well, we don't need that one, right? Um, but now we have access to tier two. Let's look at what everything that tier two can make. Dye seeds, nether seeds, coal seeds, slime and rubber. Well, that's cool. Rubber seeds, huh? Hmm, that could be useful. Slime seeds also, right? Copper, mystical, marble. Okay. Limestone, basalt, appetite, mineral, marble, slate, and then tier three and basalt. All right, not bad. So I think coal and copper are the two that I'm totally going to want, right? Um, so let's get four coal and four copper, right? So you should go four coal. So we're gonna need more of this, right? So that means you guys. Okay. So coal and copper. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? And if we decide we need more of these, we can get more. Nice. Okay, that is cool. And look, this guy's already grown. And we've got our first Electrotene Essence. How great is that? You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Inferium Tier 2s and replace the Tier 1 plants that I have here. And that'll just get me more stuff over time. That's nifty. All right, so the basics of Mystical Agriculture are up and running. I don't think we need to spend too much more time on it, for now at least. Um, obviously, the basics are there. Um, but having access to be able to do some basic mystical agriculture work, I think is going to be useful to us. And at this point, I'm questioning whether I should be storing all my mystical agriculture stuff in a separate chest of some kind. What do I have here by way of chests? Do I have something better than just a regular old vanilla chest? And I'm a little bit too lazy to make. Um, yeah. Let's uh, let's call this our mystical agriculture chest for now, right? We can put all our mystical agriculture related stuff in there. And I think that's a smooth idea. Wow, you're out of spots for copper coins, huh? Let's put uh, the power tome five away up here. And this can be this guy. And I'll call that I'll call that good enough for now on mystical agriculture, right? Does that sound good? I don't think we need to spend too much more time on it. Um, what I'll do is as I need, more and more resources, I can go ahead and get them uh, added to the mystical agriculture stuff, right? And then obviously in a minute here, I should have, uh, how much essence do you want there? Just a little bit. All right, cool. Maybe I'll watering can those just to complete the quests. Uh, be right back. All right, looking good. So my uh, essence quests are complete here. I'm gonna put my watering can away. I'm just gonna toss them in here for now, because like I said, we're not gonna do a whole lot with uh, mystical agriculture too much at this point. But uh, I can knock this quest complete, and I can knock this quest complete, which is cool. Put all that stuff away. Ooh, a copper gear. Sure, I don't mind if I do. 
Boop, boop, boop. And a little bit of coal. Sweet. Quest complete coal. I don't know how much copper I was supposed to get, but some. Some number of copper. Nice. See? Real simple quests to knock out. I'll take it. All right, so with a little mystical agriculture out of the way, right? I did some pretty good stuff there. I went ahead and got myself uh, some spikes. So quest complete on that, hooray. And now I'm making myself a blood extractor, which I know from comes from Evilcraft, right? So that sounds like a good time right there. Uh, neat, quest complete, sweet. And hey, we got an extra, an extra one of those as a quest reward, which is also cool. Uh, so hey, that knocks out um, the, the requirements to get into the Black Magic chapter, right? So we can check out Black Magic now. Uh, so let's see, where does that lead? Okay, so there's, there's um, Blood Magic, and that I assume would be Evilcraft, right? So we need some base resources. I've definitely got all that stuff to get started. Uh, I'm excited to get into blood magic because I'm hope there, there's some really powerful blood magic stuff. Look how many chisels I have from quest rewards, right? Hey, another buried treasure map. I should look at those at some point. Uh, there's a lot of powerful stuff in blood magic, right? Like the air sigil. I'm just curious, like, ooh, blood arsenal, huh? There's extra sigils. That's cool. I'm not familiar with that one. I'm not familiar with blood arsenal. Sigil of Sentience, huh? Sentient Tools. I should look into this. But the Air Sigil is definitely one that I usually like to see. So Iron Promise Acceptor. Well, that's not too bad, I don't think. That's Blood magic -y stuff. Reinforced Slate, Air Reagents. Reinforced Slate is what, Tier 2? Yeah, it is. So that doesn't look terrible. And the Air Sigil, remember, basically gives you a form of flight, right? Um, so there's some really good stuff in Blood Magic that I would love to be able to play with, right? We can also do Lava Generation, right? Sigil of the Green Grove, that's a pretty nice one, right? That gives you uh, crops growing faster. Um, Blood Lamp is also a nice one, right? Like we, yeah, there's some really good stuff in Blood Magic, sigil-wise. Um, and Rituals, of course, are also super good. Uh, Master Ritual Stone, wow, that's a lot of reinforced slates, but otherwise not terrible. Regular Ritual Stones, same Wow, we need a lava crystal for every set of four. Okay, that's not awful, but that seems like a lot. That seems like a lot, and compressed obsidian. <sighs> but rituals can be pretty powerful, to be fair, right? Totally can be a little bit powerful, uh, to be fair. I wonder, I'm assuming that lava crystal gets used up in each craft, but maybe not. So, hey, the foundations of uh, evil, dark, dark magic. <laughs> It's that time. All right, so let's do a little bit of you and some iron. And I think we had redstone, lapis, and diamonds on our to-do list. Yeah, we do. Boom. And I will, uh, gold, I guess. Oh, as a reward. So uh, do we want to go down the evil craft path? Or do we want to go down the blood magic craft? Right? Because Blood Magic, I know there's cool stuff that I'll have access to. Evil Craft, I don't know all that well. So I don't know if there's cool stuff that I'll have access to. But it's also new. So that's a good question. It's a really tough one to answer right now, too. Uh, I think I'm going to go down Blood Magic path. Just because I'm familiar with it. And I'll get the cool gadgets that I want. Like the Air Sigil and a couple others. Um, and then in tandem, we'll do a little bit of evil craft as well. Does that sound fair? I think that sounds fair, right? So you want me to get a few rudimentary snares, which is just string, redstone, and other stuff, right? Hey, quest complete diamonds. Woot. I quest completed diamonds at some point down the line. I got, was it a stack of diamonds I needed? Hey, all right. Platinum chest plate with unbreaking two. That's pretty cool. I am absolutely claiming that reward. That is a good time. Getting started with black magic is also cool. Yeah, I like I like that reward. Unbreaking two and it's platinum? Like, you know that's going to be a really good eight armor and two armor toughness compared to six armor. Yeah, way better. Platinum chest plate. Yes, please. I like that a lot. Do I get something cool? Platinum boots for getting a lot of platinum. I don't know that we have enough platinum. We have 13 platinum. Not nearly as much <laughs> as we need, but that's okay. We'll get there eventually, I'm sure, right? This guy also gives me, like, a dragon scale dude, which is pretty cool. I'll take the leggings, I guess. Yeah, why not? That sounds like a good time. 
I knew I had uh, that quest as a to-do item, right? And my rare one got me some iron horse armor. Hooray! Total nonsense that I don't care about. You can do what again? You smelt into silicon. Right. Right. Cool. Sure. So we want some snares. You want me to make four of them? I can do that. I'm going to get like a dozen. Now, of course, of course, of course, um, we did this right as it was getting to be to be daytime, right? But at least there's a creeper nearby that we can go mess with a little bit, right? Where's that creeper at? I think he despawned. Oh, the other one despawned too. <laughs> he was on the map and they despawned. Um, so easy access to bad guys. Uh, I guess we could probably just either go into our mining caves, because I'm sure we could uh, find some bad dudes in there. Or uh, failing that, we could... Hey, yeah, look, see, bad dudes. All right, so now the deal is... Wow, you run fast and that makes it really annoying to capture you, right? So the deal is you want to wait for them to have particle effects, which is hard to see when you also have particle effects. I probably need more snares. Hey, there we go. Particle effects. Woohoo! We got our demon will. Beautiful. That's what we were after. Quest complete demon will. Nice. I didn't even know that was the quest. I just, I kind of assumed because I know what you're supposed to do with that stuff, right? I know my blood magic. Well enough. Golden cutlass, huh? Neat. Look at all this junk. See, look, inventory full of nonsense already. All right, so to home we go. I'll probably need a couple more of those. So what I'm thinking I'll do is get the very basics of blood magic going, uh, and then between episodes, hunt for some more wills and do a few other things, right? Um, let's see if I can clean up my inventory real quick and just get to the point where it'll be useful to be doing some between episodes work. Fair? All right, be right back. Ooh, also, having the blood extractor in my inventory here uh, filled up with blood when I killed that skeleton, I presume. So that's neat. That's super cool. Uh, so we, we do get to kind of do this uh, in tandem, right? A little, uh, little combination of things, right? So let's get another snare uh, and some food ready, right? So quest-wise, I did that. I got this. Right, and you're giving me another will, and now you want me to make a Hellfire Forge? That doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad, right? Uh, so the Hellfire Forge, let me get the resources I need. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, I should now have everything I need. Sans a chest, which I'm about to make real quick, to make this dude. And my goal, I think right now, should be, woohoo, Hellfire Forge, nice. We're gonna keep this inside the house for a minute, but we'll probably set up an area at some point soon, right? Uh, to, to do all the cool Hellfire Forge things. Hooray! And I got some interesting quest rewards. I got a golden apple. I got some fertilizer. Cool. All right. Uh, and now you want a Petty Tartic Gem, right? So that's the standard recipe of Lapis, Glass, Gold, Redstone. Lapis, Glass, Gold, Redstone. Right? And that's 4.32.98. I think, unfortunately, um, it's 1.0 that he uses. But I don't think it'll use the entire will, right? It should drop me down to 3.32? Or am I crazy about that? No, I'm right. Hooray. Nice. Nice. So now when I drop these guys, hooray. 4.3. Beautiful. Quest complete. All right. Nice. All right. Cool, cool, cool. And hey, you were kind enough to give me an iron sword because you knew I would need an iron sword. That is super, super nice of you, Quest Rewards. Look, I got a stone, stone axe. That's what came out of, what was that, a rare loot bag? Comedy, guys. Comedy. Comedy comes in threes. All right. So now you want me to make the sword, right? Um, which is the sentient sword, which we will put on our, so that's that and that. Okay. So we're going to want another one of those, right? We didn't, did we get another one of those as a quest reward? No. All right. So what we're going to want, I think I'm going to hang on to you in, in, in block form. Don't ask me why. I don't entirely know, but I'm going to boop, boop, and boop. All right. I'm going to put you in there with these guys. And then I'm going to combine the new empty gem with the sword. Cool. And that'll be wrapping up point for the episode. Between episodes, I will hunt and I will get more blood and more um, soul thingies, right? The soul things. 
right? So we'll do a little bit of outside hunting once the sun goes down. Uh, and then next episode, we'll come back with our first blood altar, which I think will be cool. How hard is that? Not too bad. Maybe I'll craft all the prerequisites between episodes, right? Uh, we need some blocks of gold. Not terrible. Stone tank. Easy. Silicon plates. Yep. Silicon blocks, which I presume is just a bunch of silicon. Yep. Demon plates. Remember, we have a demon metal maker uh, and lapis plates. So not bad at all. And then we can have a blood altar and that should be cool. Uh, and then from there, you're going to do the, the sacrificial knife and the arcane ashes. And that's how we get some cool gadgets that I think will be nice in the long run. For now, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. I will have filled up some of these guys. So basically just got to kill mobs. When you kill mobs with Ascension Sword, they have a better chance to drop those things. You don't have to throw the snares at them anymore. Um, so that's neat. I can probably just void these at this point. I don't think I need them anymore. I think I'll hang on to them as just a, let's hang on to them for the heck of it type of deal, right? Um, yeah, for now, take it easy, guys.